Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Lanting, America's Allergist. Let's talk about allergic rhinitis medications. What are some of the things that are out there that your physician, your primary care physician, or your allergist can prescribe for you to make your allergy symptoms be under control? Because remember, that's what you want, to feel fantastic, have no symptoms, and have great control. There are the workhorse of sprays, which are the nasal steroid sprays. And there's a lot of different ones out there they vary in strength, but different people respond differently to the different ones. That's why the uh, samples are nice because you can try one and see if it works great for you. If not, try something else. These days now, we have two different types of nasal steroid applications or delivery systems. One is the actual spray and the other are nasal aerosols. And it's great because then you can choose the two. Sometimes if you live in a dry climate or wet climate, one's better. Sometimes if you're sort of obstructed or really obstructed, one works better than the other. Again, it's an individual thing that you have to figure out with a physician which one works best for me so I have no congestion, no mucus, no symptoms. Don't let the word nasal steroid scare you because you think, ooh, that's a bad word. And it is, but nasal steroids have no or minimal systemic absorption, meaning it doesn't get in your bloodstream, or minimal amounts. So don't fear them. They're there to sit on the nose and do its magic. Think of it this way. If you had a mosquito bite, you might put cordate on it, right? So same thing here. If you have inflammation here, you're putting the nasal spray on the tissue where you need it the most. For those of you, though, that, that the word steroid scares you, there's actually a non-steroid out there called nasal chrome, and it's actually over the counter. But to use it properly, it's got to be four times a day or every six hours. That almost is never going to happen. Sometimes you can get away with it three times a day, but again, that's its proper use. What else is out there? Well, there are sprays that are nasal antihistamines. So we've talked about oral antihistamines for allergies. So these are nasal sprays, and there's two of them out there that get on the nose and give topical you know, tissue protection against allergens because they're antihistamines, so they work well. There's also another nasal spray out there that helps stop mucus production, helps dry up the nose, and that's an as-needed nasal spray that can be used once, twice, or three times a day. There's also a pill out there that helps control some of the allergy symptoms. Remember, we talked about antihistamines helping. This is what they call a leukotriene antagonist, and what it does is it stops the production of some allergy chemicals that really helps. You, this is not really a one, you know, an alone medication, but something you have to add in to the regimen of the things I just mentioned. So again, there are different allergy medications out there depending on what allergens you have, how many, how strong, how reactive you are. You may need one, two, or sometimes even three of these products to obtain control and some of the things we mentioned in our other videos. So again, different allergy medications for different presentations. I'm Dr. Bill Lanting, America's Allergist. Take care.